Hey folks, it's currently the end of January, so a lot of people are getting ready to gear up for their spring marathon. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about the vaunted 20 mile long run, which of course isn't just spring marathons, it's marathons at any given point in time. And 20 is a, a big deal for people. Usually when you talk to somebody getting ready for a marathon, it's like, well, how many 20s am I gonna run? Or when is my 20? Am I gonna have 20 three weeks before 20, 20, 20? Why do we make such a big deal about 20? Because I'm here to tell you, 20 is not that big of a deal. It's really about something else. So let's back up a little bit, talk about long runs in general. So the reason we have long runs, the reason they're the, kind of the foundation of any training from about 800 meters on up is you're looking for some specific physical adaptations, meaning that a, a short, easy run does not give you the exact same benefits as those long, easy runs, which are the long runs. So here's the way that works. A long run has to be at least 90 minutes in order to be considered a long run. So if somebody says they did a long run and they ran 75 minutes, it's not technically a long run. I wouldn't correct them, who cares? But really you're looking for at least 90 minutes for that run to be long and up to about 150 minutes. That is your window during which you get the vast majority of the physical adaptations that we're looking for in a long run. Now, after 150 minutes, which is two and a half hours, up to 180 minutes or three hours, you see my down arrow, those benefits drop pretty sharply. They're still there, but at, after about two and a half hours, they go boom, they're falling off the face of the earth. And once you get to three hours, they are gone. Meaning that anytime you're doing a long run, you go over three hours, you're not getting any additional physical adaptations from doing that at all. It probably helps you a lot mentally, but you're not getting any more benefit from that. So let's get back to again. So where does this you know 20 mile long run thing come from? Because that's gonna take people different times, right? So first remember, it's not about 20 miles. It is about trying to make sure you're getting some runs that are two to two and a half hours long, maybe a little bit longer, why? You wanna get the maximum benefits for your run. Going a lot longer, you don't get physical benefits, you do get mental benefits, and I don't wanna belittle those, but there's no physical. So if you look at you know elites, if they're running a six minute pace for a long run, which is actually maybe on the slower side for your elites, 20 miles is only gonna take them two hours. If you're running an eight minute pace, that's gonna take 240, it's a little bit over two and a half. If you're running a 10 minute pace, it's gonna be way over three hours. So if you go back years and years and years ago, generally speaking, anybody that was running a marathon was probably running faster than 330 for the most part, the vast majority of people. So the way that 20 miles came about is 20 miles fell into that window of how much time you wanna be running. Well, the marathon's become enormously more popular over the last 30 years or so, and people are running that at different paces. And I, I don't, I'm not talking negatively about people at different paces, what happens is they're still locked into 20 because that's what everybody always did. But the fact is 20, again, if you're at 10 minute pace, is way over three hours and you're, you're just not getting any additional benefit from doing that. So that's why it's not about running 20, it's about running that specific amount of time. So remember 20, it's largely mental. There's nothing magic about having run 20. Total weekly mileage in a marathon is, I think every bit as important as the long run. And a lot of people put all their focus on the long run, but it's really total weekly mileage is every bit as important. So if you have a 20 mile long run, but your total weekly mileage is really low, that doesn't really help you as much. In fact, you've probably got too much volume in your long run, because the other thing is ideally, your long run is not gonna be much more than about 30% of your total weekly mileage. Now I'm here to tell you for weekend warriors, that gets to be really hard to do. But the idea is you don't want too much of that slower running all in one run. So a couple other things I'll say about why would you maybe not run a 20 if it's gonna be taking you three hours, three and a half hours, four hours, depending upon your pace. Couple reasons are you generally need a double taper in order to be able to do that. What do I mean by double taper? So if your run is gonna take you four hours for the sake of example, chances are that whole week leading up to that run, you can't do anything with very much intensity to it. You maybe have to cut your miles back a little bit. You almost have to taper to get your body ready to be able to go out there for four hours. And then the next week, you're drained and tired from having run four hours, so you probably can't do as much that week. So what you've done is you've given up two weeks of training doing some marathon specific work in order to have one long run. And of course, the second reason is the longer you're out there, the greater the opportunity you have to increase injury. Let's face it, if you ran one mile a week, you'd probably never be injured. If you're running 500 miles a week, you'd probably always be injured. You know, 
you have more risk when you're running a little bit more. Plus what tends to happen, you get more and more tired when you're out there longer and your body starts to break down and your form isn't good, so your injury risk goes up. So as I said, I'm not trying to say don't go run 20 because I totally get that there is a mental benefit from that. But really the purpose of this video is to say, how did we get to 20 and that there's really nothing magical about 20? Think about your totality in your training and have a great marathon.